Hello friends, welcome to C programming video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood how to create a new C project in the core blocks ID. We understood hello world program. We understood how do we add line breaks using the escape sequence character backward slash n. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss character set of C language. First step in learning any language is knowing its character set. How do we have learned English language? First we learned alphabets, right? Uppercase A to Z, lowercase A to Z. We learned digits 0 to 9. Then we learned numbers. Then we learned special characters. Comma, full stop, exclamation mark, when to use comma, when to use full stop, etc, etc. What is a character set? Set of characters used in the language for forming words, sentences, paragraphs, etc. What is a character set? Set of characters. Set of characters used in the language for forming words, sentences, paragraphs, etc. In English language, we use these characters for forming words. Here you can see that language is formed with the help of alphabets, right? As C is also a language, it also has set of characters used in forming tokens, instructions, programs, etc. Programming language tokens are similar to words in the English language. Programming language instructions are similar to sentences in English language. And programs in programming language are similar to paragraphs in English language. As C is also a language, it also has set of characters. It has alphabets, uppercase A to Z to lowercase A to Z, digits 0 to 9, special characters, comma, full stop, exclamation mark, etc, etc. Plus, it has escape sequence characters like backward slash N, backward slash T, backward slash V, etc. We take help of these characters for forming tokens instructions, programs. While writing programs, we take help of these characters available in the C language. C character set supports ASCII character set. We have different types of character sets in the computer world like a Unicode character set, extended Unicode character set. C supports ASCII character set. For every character, there is a unique number in the ASCII character set. We are seeing here capital letter A. We are seeing here lowercase z. We are seeing here at the rate but behind the scene for every character there is a unique number in the ascii character set using the ascii character set we can represent characters in the computer what is ascii ascii stands for american standards code for information interchange american standards code for information interchange it is a seven bit character set Using the ASCII, we can represent maximum 128 characters. That is, any character available on the keyboard we can represent in the ASCII. How do we say maximum 128? I go to calculator. I say here 2, that is uh, the base of binary number system, raised to the power of 7 is equal to 128. So, using the ASCII, we can represent maximum 128 characters. This is the ASCII chart. You can see here, 7 decimal number is associated to the bell character. 10 decimal number is associated to line break or line field character. 48, 0. 57 is associated to the digit 9. Similarly, 65 decimal number is associated with the uppercase A. And 90 for uppercase Z. 97 for lowercase A. 122 for lowercase z. Like that, for every character, there is a unique number in the ASCII. Later in C programming tutorials, we are going to generate this uh, table. Actually, we are going to display the ASCII chart ourselves using the C programming language constructs. I hope you guys have clearly understood that first step in learning any language is knowing its character set. So, we have learned the character set of the C language. Alphabets, digits, special characters, escape sequence characters. C supports ASCII character set. ASCII character set is a 7-bit character set. Maximum we can represent 128 characters using the ASCII character set. 
we use or we take help of these characters while forming tokens instructions programs in c programming language later i discuss tokens instructions programs etc in detail step by step so for this video tutorial this much is enough friends in the next video tutorial we get more information on c programming language for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial